Welcome to my channel, in this video I introduce how to set up access points for fast roaming. Fast roaming is an important feature for seamless connectivity when moving between different areas covered by multiple access points. For example, you have two access points, one on the first floor and one on the second floor. When you move from the first floor to the second floor, your phone's connection is roamed from the first floor access point to the second floor access point. This way your connection is always seamless when moving between areas. These are the two routers I use in this video, I will turn them into Wi-Fi access points. On those access points I set up fast roaming between them for the purpose of this video. First, connect router 1 to the computer using the LAN port. This is the NetGear R6220 router. By default it does not allow fast roaming configuration so you need to upgrade the firmware for it. The firmware used in this case is called OpenWRT. I searched for OpenWRT firmware for NetGear R6220 router. Then you download the two files as above. One file is named Factory and the other one is named Size Upgrade. Next, open the router management page and start upgrading the firmware. After a few minutes of waiting, the NetGear router has become an OpenWRT router. OpenWRT's default IP address is 192.168.1.1. By default the password is blank. I named this access point AP1 to distinguish it from the others. By default OpenWRT does not support fast roaming with basic installation packages. So follow these steps to install the WPAD package. You remove the WPAD basic package because it does not allow you to install a package called WPAD. After removing the package named WPAD basic, search and install the WPAD package. You need to make sure this router is connected to the internet. Otherwise you cannot install the package named WPOD. This is the WPOD package, I select it and start the installation. WPOD has completed installation on access point 1. Next. Set up a wireless network for access point 1. In this case I set it up as follows. The following are the steps to set up a wireless network on access point 1. By default wireless networks on OpenWRT are disabled so I enabled it. For the N band, I set the name to NetVN. Next I enable the AC band. On the AC band I set the name NetVN 5G. After installing the package called WPAD I recommend that you restart the router to ensure the changes apply.
Now I set up a password for the Wi-Fi network named NetVN. Next, go to the tab called WLAN Roaming. The settings here will help you quickly roam between access points. You enable 802.11R to enable roaming on this access point. Next you set up mobility domain. You set up the same mobility domain on all access points. On the end band I set it to 4F57. After completing the setup on the N band, you set up on the AC band. I set up a password for the Wi-Fi network named NetVN 5G. You then set up fast roaming on the AC band. Just like N band you enable 802.11R. You set up a mobility domain on the AC band differently than on the N band. On the AC band I set it to 123F. Then you save the wireless network settings on access point 1. Because the DHCP server on this router is active, it will provide IP addresses to devices connected to it. I delete this router's default 1 settings. Then I changed the IP address of this access point. In this example I set the IP address for this access point to 192.168.0.240. Next you disable the DHCP server. The DHCP server has been successfully disabled on access point 1. Now you apply the changes. You will lose connection to access point 1 because its IP address has been changed. You access it using the new IP address. So I have completed setting up access point 1. The next steps I show how to set up on access point 2. You connect router 2 to the computer using the LAN port. Different from router 1, this is a TP-Link router and the way to install OpenWRT on it has some differences. I searched for OpenWRT firmware for TP-Link Archer C7 version 2 router. Then I downloaded the two files as above. One file is named factory and the other is named size upgrade. Here are instructions for installing OpenWRT on TP-Link Archer C7 version 2 router. I followed the steps as instructed. I set up a file transfer server on a Windows computer. You download software called TFTP, which is very easy to use file transfer software. You copy the files you just downloaded to a folder named TFTP. Then you rename the file named factory as instructed. I set up a static app address for my Windows computer. The IP address is 192.168.0.266. Now open the software called TFTP. 
Make sure your Windows firewall allows TFTP software through. For Router 2, boot it into recovery mode. I followed the steps as instructed. I use one hand to press and hold the reset button. With your other hand, press the power button of Router 2. You then observe the file transfer process on the Windows computer. You look at the log to make sure the file was uploaded to Router 2 successfully. Now you set the Windows computer IP address in dynamic mode. Then wait a little longer for Router 2 to allocate an IP address to the Windows computer. Thus, Router 2 has successfully become an open WRT router. The default IP address is 192.168.1.1. By default the password is blank. Next you upgrade the OpenWRT firmware with a file called Size Upgrade. In the next steps, I show you how to set up an access point on Router 2. You connect Router 2 to the internet using the one port. You use an Ethernet cable to connect Router 2 to the internet. I name this access point AP2 to distinguish it from access point 1. Just like on Router 1, you remove the WPAD basic package to install the package called WPAD. Then you update the list of installable packages on OpenWRT. You search for the package named WPAD. WPOD allows you to set up fast roaming on access point 2. The following setup steps on access point 2 are almost identical to those on access point 1. There are only IP addresses on two different access points. Next I set up the wireless network on access point 2. By default wireless networking is disabled on OpenWRT. I set the wireless network name on the N-band to NetVN, the same as on access point 1. Then I set up a password for the wireless network called NetVN. You ensure the password is the same on all access points to ensure uninterrupted authentication. Next you enable fast roaming on the N-band. Make sure that the mobility domain set up on NBAND is the same as on access point 1. Because on access point 1 I set it to 4F57, so here I set it the same way. I have completed the wireless network setup for N frequency. Next I enabled the wireless network for the AC band. I then set up the wireless network the same way as on access point 1. I set the wireless network name to NetVN 5G, same as on access point 1. I set the same password as access point 1. Next, you enable fast roaming on access point 2. Here you set up the mobility domain to be the same as the AC band on access point 1. The two access points have the same settings, 1, 2, 3, F. You apply the wireless network settings on access point 2. As you can see the wireless network setup is the same on the two access points. In the following steps you disable the DHCP server on this access point and change the IP address of access point 2. 
I delete the default one settings. Then change the IP address of access point 2. In this case I set the IP address to 192.168.0.200.241, different from access point 1. Next I disabled the DHCP server. Thus, this access point does not provide IP addresses for devices connected to it. Devices connected to access points will be assigned IP addresses from the main router. The IP address was changed so I lost connection to access point 2. To access it I used the newly set IP address. Above is a table summarizing the settings on the two access points. As you can see the settings on both access points are the same. They only have different management IP addresses. Another very important point you need to pay attention to is that you connect these access points to the main router using the LAN port. Next I connect the newly created access points to the main router using network cables. Above are the steps to set up a wireless network that allows fast roaming between access points. With the above setup, the connection is always seamless between different areas. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Good luck.